Hello, my name is Hannah Riley. This is my listening project number one. I did this over Canon and D by Pachelbel. This piece was composed in 1680. It uses three violins and a ground bass. However, many times when you hear it played today, it will be played with a piano and a violin. Um, so the tempo of this piece starts off very, very slow. It allows for like the gradual entrance of all the instruments in it. And then at about two minutes and 40 seconds, it starts to change to like a very calm and relaxing, steady pace, I feel like. And then it becomes a little bit less complicated and even simpler at about 445. So the dynamic also kind of changes like almost along the lines of the tempo. So at about two minutes, it has a crescendo and becomes a little bit more powerful than what the beginning of it because we had like the gradual in entrance of all the instruments. And so then it starts to have a decrescendo at about two minutes and 40 seconds when it kind of comes like more of a steady melody. And then it starts to build back up at about 335. And at this point, all the instruments start to kind of play together and become very powerful compared to the rest of the music, even though it's not like in your face powerful, I feel like compared to other pieces, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm going to play a little piece of it. So I feel like it kind of like builds it up. And I think that all of the instruments playing together is what makes it more powerful. So the pattern, like I said, it starts off very, very slow and it has the same rhythm over and over and over to allow all those instruments to join in. And then once we get to like the main section of the um, piece, I feel it starts to repeat the same um, pattern over and over and over again as well. It's not the same as the beginning, but it's still has that same repetitive nature. In my opinion, this piece the emotion of it is just this very like light, airy, lovable type of piece. You see this played a lot at weddings. And so I feel like that's what kind of gives it that love feel. And then I feel like towards the end, it also starts to get kind of like almost where the listener feels content, if that makes sense, um, and almost satisfied. So when I was choosing this piece, I it's always been a piece that I loved. When I played piano when I was little, we always would do like the very beginning would be kind of like a warm up for the day. We would use different sections of this piece just to kind of warm up our hands for um, practice that day. And I feel like this piece always just makes me feel like light, airy and happy inside, which is why I love listening to it. And so when I picture this piece in a movie scene or anything like that, I picture kind of like almost like a flashback of a bunch of memories of a group of friends, a couple, anything like that. Just like all these happy thoughts just come like rushing back. Or it could even be like a little couple dancing in a field of flowers or something like that. I feel like those two little scenarios would fit this piece perfectly if it was played in a movie. One thing I noticed that stood out to me whenever I was watch or, or listening to this piece was that many musicians play it on a piano and a violin now. I feel like it gives it a more modern take. The three violins and ground bass gives it a very like classical traditional feel but I think as we've kind of evolved many people want it as a more modern piece especially when it's played in pianos and stuff. So I really enjoyed listening to this piece it's one of my favorites. I know I wanted to do this project over it whenever I was reading through all the guidelines and stuff. So, but thank you.